Crossing boundaries, understanding the phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase, cross a boundary. Understanding such phrases is key to mastering the nuances of the English language. So, let's explore what it means to cross a boundary and how you can use this phrase in your conversations. Cross a boundary is a phrase used both literally and figuratively in English. Literally, it means to physically move over a line or border that separates two areas. For example, when you cross the boundary from France into Germany, you enter a new country. Figuratively, it refers to going beyond what is considered acceptable or appropriate in social, professional, or personal contexts. For instance, he crossed a boundary when he started asking personal questions in a professional meeting. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. Social context, please don't read my diary. That's crossing a personal boundary. 2. Professional setting, the manager crossed a boundary by commenting on his employee's appearance. 3. International relations, the troops crossed the national boundary, causing a diplomatic incident. Each of these examples shows how crossing a boundary can have different implications depending on the context. When using cross a boundary, it's important to consider the context. In personal conversations, use it to express that someone has gone too far or invaded your privacy. In professional discussions, it can highlight a breach of ethics or workplace norms. In political or geographical discussions, it refers to crossing actual borders. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, cross a boundary, and how you can use it in different contexts. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about understanding the cultural and contextual nuances. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.